Hello and welcome to Faithfully Stampin' with Jennifer Helm. I am Jennifer Helm, the Faithful Stamper, an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Today I have for you a quick and easy sketch card. This was inspired by StampinPretty.com and it's a very basic idea for a card front that you can then take and embellish and tweak to your heart's content. So I kept this one simple and then I'll show you some samples at the end of the video to just kind of show you the different ideas you can come up with using a basic sketch. So this uses several of the new colors from Stampin' Up. If you haven't seen the new in colors or the new in color, the new annual catalog, and you don't have a demonstrator that you're currently working with, please feel free to get in touch with me either through this YouTube channel or over on Facebook at The Faithful Stamper, and I would be happy to get a catalog to you. So we have Pebbled Path, copper clay, along with some new DSP, and I'll talk about the rest shortly. So, very simple card. This isn't going to take a lot to put together. The first thing you're going to want is a card base. It doesn't really matter which style of card base you use. This one is eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored down the middle at four and a quarter. You can also use the long skinny card bases as well. It doesn't really matter for this particular card. And I pre-scored it so I can fold it and be ready to go. Again, this is Pebbled Path. Next up, we need some cardstock and some designer series paper. My strip of cardstock is copper clay. This is two inches wide by five and a half inches tall. And to that, I am going to add a piece of designer series paper. This is one and three quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall. It's going to run the whole width or length of the card. And this is our new Cheerful Daisies designer series paper. And all my colors for this card today came right out of the strip of paper. No special glue is needed. I am using stamp and seal, but you can use liquid glue or if you have another favorite, I'm sure that would work as well. And I'm just going to line this up right down the center top to bottom, and then smooth that out. And then some more stamp and seal, and we're gonna put this on the front of the card. I find it easier to turn it a little bit sideways. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of room, maybe half an inch or so, next to the fold, and then smooth that down. You can maneuver your strip of cardstock and DSP wherever you like though. To this, we're going to add our circles. So I used our Stylish Shapes die set to cut out three circles. They're the three smallest. I've got the smallest in garden green. Then the next size up is another circle cut from a different piece of the designer series paper, that same daisy pack. This, the reverse side of the Moody Mauve print actually matches very well with this paper, so that's why I chose it. And then the next size up from that in basic white. And this is what I'm going to add to my sentiment, or I'm going to add my sentiment to proper verbiage here. So my stamp sets today are the Wonderful Thoughts polym photopolymer stamp set. This is full of greetings, which is nice. There is an accompanying die set you can purchase that cuts all of these out for you. And then for my images, I'm using the Cheerful Daisy set and I'm just using the outline for the daisy and then the um, leaf stamp. So let's get stamping. I have my stamp and pierce mat. This is just a layer of foam. Um, gives me a little cushion underneath my photopolymer stamps because they are clear and they don't have a foam cushion built in. So to my circle, I'm going to take Pebbled Path ink and then stamp my Thinking of You. This card could be any occasion, really. It would be nice for a more subtle birthday card or a Get Well card, a Sympathy card. I'm just going to do Thinking of You. And I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper because I decided this was the original card that I made and I like it, but I feel like there's a little bit too much white space that draws your eye. So I'm just gonna accent it a little bit with that leaf stamp and some garden green ink. So pulling all my colors together 
And then I'm just going to add a little bit of accent to the card here. Like that. Now while I've got my inks and my stamps out, I'm going to take a piece of basic white, this is five and a quarter by four, and just add some accents to the inside. I'm not gonna put a sediment on the inside. So I have wild wheat ink, and I'm going to stamp the corners here. The wild wheat ink is another new in color, and it's the same color as the accent I'm gonna put on the designer series paper, or on the front of the card with the designer series paper. I can't talk today. And I know it might look a little funny. It's actually gonna dry lighter, so it'll dry more of a golden color. I know it looks a little greeny right now, but give it a minute. And then I'm going to stamp my envelope corner as well so that everything coordinates together. And now I'm ready to go. So envelope is done. My insert I can take and put on the inside of the card. This sketch card really comes together quickly. That's one nice thing about sketch cards. Sometimes you just want a quick and simple idea and this is definitely one of them. So now I need my circles for the front. What I like to do is take the largest circle, <clears throat> pardon me, and just lay it on the front. I'm gonna pop it on dimensionals, but I wanna get my placement down. So I like to just position that and then figure out where the rest of my circles are going to go so that I'm happy before I start gluing things because this is what takes me the longest is positioning things on the card. And I don't wanna cover up any of the beautiful DSP. So I think this is where I like things. So just some quick glue here on the back. Reposition that. So this is where that medium sized circle is going to go. I'll put a little stamp and seal on the back. Now what I'm gonna do to just make my life easier here is take my sentiment circle and put some dimensionals on. And I'm gonna position this and then I'll know where exactly I want that little circle. But you can position them wherever you like on the card front and in whatever order you like. You could use circles that were all the same size. You could make them bigger, smaller, whatever makes your heart happy. So here we go. And then this last one, let's see, I think I'll put right there. And now just for a finishing touch, I'm going to take some of our festive pearls. I was so glad these carried over from our last catalog. You can see I get a lot of use of them. I'm almost out of silver ones here. So I'm gonna use gold today. And I'm going to put one here on the sentiment. And then I'm gonna pop a couple. Oop. I could put them anywhere on the card front, but I'm actually gonna put them on this little green circle here to kind of tie things together. All right, and so there is a quick and easy card. And here's just the two differences between, um, or the difference between the two cards, one with the accent stamps and then one without. Now you can definitely take this idea and run with it in whichever direction you like. For example, I took my same basic card here and I just dressed it up one step. I took a panel of Pebbled Path, this is five and a quarter by four, and I ran it through one of our basics embossing folders. This is a 3D set of embossing folders. There's three of them in the basic set. It's an online exclusive, so you'll definitely have to check that out at my website. We do have some other online exclusives there as well. For example, we have our Radiating Stitches die set, which includes this small circle here. And instead of the perforated stitching, this one has the little lines around a lot of the shapes in there, and it has rectangles and um, a couple of circles and a heart, which is very nice. So um, be sure to check that out. Here you can see, in addition to the embossing, um, and I just trimmed down the panel here to five and a quarter instead of the five and a half like the original card. 
And then I positioned my circles differently. So play around, see what works best for your card design, whichever kind of paper you use, and go from there. This is more like an outline, a suggestion for the sketch, and then springboard to something else. You'll see with the next couple of samples, I really thought outside the box, um, no circles on those. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. So this next card, very different. First of all, I changed the orientation on the card. I made it more horizontal instead of vertical. And this one I used our Legendary Ride stamp set, no circles to be seen. I took a panel of gray granite, stamped my sentiment on it, and then I ran that through our metal plate embossing folder. Hopefully you can get a good view of that. This is a new favorite of mine. It's great for masculine cards and non-masculine cards. It happens to pair very well with flowers as well. I kept my designer series paper or my cardstock measurements the same, but I trimmed them down to five and a quarter, but it's still that one and three quarters and two inches, but it's cardstock in both layers instead of designer series paper. There's actually no DSP on this card at all. I added our larger motorcycle image and then some some bling, manly bling. So a very different card, but using that same basic idea just with that long rectangular panel. And then for these next cards, I jumped into more designer series paper as opposed to cardstock. So these are both done with our inked and tiled suite that is in our new annual catalog. No circles here again. I made use of the punch pack that comes with the suite. Um, I stamped directly on some of the designer series paper. I just simply pulled out colors from the paper and decided what I liked. So I have Lost Lagoon paired with some pretty peacock. I used one of the punches for these designs, added some bling. I really wanted three, but it didn't look right, so that's why I ended up with two. And then I used the third punch on the inside of the card. And then here again, same paper pack changed up just a little bit. I did two layers here. So I started with two inches, I think, um, in Poppy Parade. Then I did one and three quarters in the Very Vanilla and then a thinner border here for my designer series paper. Popped this up on dimensionals, added those punches and bling, and then I need to finish the inside of this one. But I really, really like how these look. I love these colors, so I think I'm gonna make some more of these cards. But again, just a simple sketch that can lead you to many possibilities. I was very excited when this idea popped into my head last night. So thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. You can just click subscribe and then the notification bell and it will alert you every time a video is posted here on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.